Back here on the Buffalo Wings Television Network with Buffalo Wings owner Jason Klein, whose organization just hosted the Major League Roller Hockey Championships. Jason, this game, the whole championship series, televised on versus. Talk about how much this exposure means to the organization. Sure, it's great to get the uh, the organization out there to the rest of the country. Uh, you know, how do we? I think that the key here will be how to drive some five million homes to watch it. Uh, and maybe what we ought to be focusing on is driving the two and a half million roller hockey players in the country to watch it. And that's something where people like Steve Wright come in. Thank you for that free pub. Now you actually got to play in the championship game. What was the atmosphere like on the bench? Um, it was a bit subdued in the first half. I think um, you know, I think the guys weren't taking it quite as seriously as say uh, you know a Narch Pro event. Uh, but they turned that around in the second half, and as we saw, they stepped up when they needed to. Talk about your play in this game. <laughs> uh, I'm just happy that I was uh, not a minus, and I touched the puck. Now talk about uh, the fans coming out to this event. It's not quite as packed as we were hoping, but still we had a decent showing. What does that say about roller hockey in this area? Sure, I, I think that uh, we need to figure out how to get the building full for an event like this. I think if it ain't broken, prove it, as you've heard me say it every time. So uh, there's a way to get more people in the building. Uh, this was a bit of a last minute together uh, event almost um, there were some stops and starts and some questions as to times and teams so uh, it was a little little difficult I think to uh, do this the way we probably could have had we had more time but now we know and we know I think what we could do next time a little better to get more people in the building for an event like this so talk about the talent level of the Buffalo Wings obviously our star players had to show up today and they did how do the our star players rank against everyone else in roller hockey. Sure, I mean, I think they're the ultimate roller hockey players. I mean, they are the best roller hockey players in the world. They, you know, they're, they're obvious. It's a, you know, it's, a, it, it's Tyler Walser, it's Ricky, it's Kaz, Danny Wett. I mean, these guys are amazing hockey players. And again, they showed it when they had to. Today, um, I think that they need to uh, uh, step it up in Narch, obviously, and uh, show their stuff there. So uh, we, we've got it. I mean, this is a roller hockey hotbed. I know that sounds a little silly in our little microcosm of the world, but we do have an astounding level of depth of talented roller hockey players. I felt completely not worthy in warm-ups. I was, I was intimidated, uh, and, and I, you know, I, I, I suppose I should have been. But you know, the, the message there is that these guys are incredible and. <coughs> Excuse me. We all get to play with them uh, in the amateur league sometimes and in tournaments. And uh, you see them in a game like this where they are stepping it up and being on the floor with them or on the bench with them. It's it's a whole other level. It's incredible. So overall, your opinion for this event? Uh, I think it was uh, very good. I think it could have been great. I, I don't know if it was great. Um, I think if we had a full house, it would have been great. I think if um, our efforts, which were substantial to attract media, uh, had taken uh, a hold a bit more, that would have made it great. Um, you know, that's something that's difficult. Uh, uh, we, we need to figure out how to do that a little better. All right, Jason, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, too. We'll be right back on the Buffalo Wings Television Network.